So the Buffalo Bills made a very interesting signing recently, signing former wrestler and Olympian Gable Stevenson. Now, with Stevenson, he's listed as an interior defensive lineman for the Buffalo Bills. And we've seen teams in the past take chances on guys that are just incredible athletes, whether it was playing a different sport at the collegiate level or playing in different professional sports league. We've seen a lot of teams bring in guys from the Australian Football League or guys that have played rugby in Australia. Overall, just guys that are incredible athletes. Now, as far as wrestlers are concerned, a few, this was years ago, like in the early 2000s, the Vikings actually took a chance on former WWE superstar and MMA fighter Brock Lesnar. And <clears throat> if I remember correctly, and I'm going straight off the top of my head here, he played in a preseason game for the Vikings and only had one tackle. Now, I'm not bringing that up as an insult. It just kind of goes to show you that you can be an incredible athlete and being great at any sport is very, very difficult. So it's going to be a transition for Gable Stevenson, no matter how incredible of an athlete he was as a wrestler and the fact that he's an Olympian. But it never hurts to take a chance on a guy who is just an incredible athlete, especially on the defensive side of the ball, because we've seen a lot of players that have played on the defensive side of the ball, specifically on the front four, that didn't really pick up football until the high school or collegiate level, but they're just incredible athletes and they've been contributors on teams that have won Super Bowls. If I remember correctly reading about Jason Pierre-Paul back when he was with the Giants, when he didn't pick up football until high school, but at one point for the Giants during that 2011 Super Bowl run, he was having a defensive player of the year caliber type season and was instrumental in that Super Bowl run that they had that season. But I'm actually pretty excited about this signing. It'll be cool to monitor throughout the preseason and it'll be interesting to see if Gable Stevenson can make the 53 man roster for the Buffalo Bills. And I want to hear from football fans in the comment section down below, specifically Bills fans. What are your thoughts on the Bills sort of taking an outlier on somebody who doesn't really have a football background? And do you think it's a good signing and do you think it'll work out?